Hello Internet, I'm Bernard Svez, a Tiki specialist. In this video, we will view together how to set up your Tiki after the install. But first, a quick tip about Tiki. Sometimes your Tiki has unexpected behavior and doesn't display information as expected. Before changing settings or undo your last work, your first action should be to clear your Tiki cage. Go to Tiki menu, setting, Tiki cage and clear all cage. If information is not updated or part of it is missing, just rebuild your unified index. Tiki menu, control panel, search panel and go at the top rebuild index. If this is about permission, sometimes a log on log off uh, will simply fix the issue. Simple tips, but believe me when I say that we, the Tiki developers, do those dozens and dozens of times a day. If you find this tip useful and like my video, just click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's start now this Tiki Express tutorial and quickly customize a brand new Tiki. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your website name, set up the sender and the admin email, set the date and time preferences, change the theme and the layout, set your logo and the website title, quickly view the login setting. This should help you to quickly set up your Tiki website. Note that at the end of your setup and when you start to use Tiki for the first time as admin, you'll be invited to use the Tiki wizard to set up configuration or mini configuration depending on what you need. It's worth to have a look uh, to understand what can, Tiki can do for you and also uh, to help you setting those first configuration. Now, let's start. So here we are on the brand new Tiki 20 and right away I go to settings, control panels and I switch my preferences filter from basic to advanced and I save this as my default. Uh, I explained in the previous tutorial why we do that. Um, you can refer to my tutorial about administration tip. Now, uh, as you can see, I have already a warning that my sender email is not set and we're gonna set this right away. I go to the general control panel where I can find four tabs that have a lot of importance when you start, general preferences, general settings, navigation, date and time. Now, uh, let's put a sender email. I will put my email down more things that you can set. Everything is explained with a tooltip, but usually the default work fine. I apply. Each time that I change something, I will have a success green remark box. And also, as you can see, I can reset to the default value. So it's really safe and you can uh, change setting, experiment and roll back. Now, another thing that we want is to have a nice uh, brother title that will appear on the tab and that will be in fact the name of my website. Uh, again, a lot of things that you can set here, fall back for the Tiki base URL in case of something happen like 404, uh, brother title position, brother title display mode, and each time you got some tooltip. Now that is done, I'm gonna apply that. And we will go to uh, the date and time setting. Another thing that is important to check uh, when you start your Tiki. Uh, you can set the time zone automatically. Uh, Tiki will try to detect the time zone of your server and uh, set it uh, right. You can change those settings. You can have different date format for long format, short date format, etc, etc. And you have also here the, the display for the date and time selectors. By default, Tiki come uh, with a setting that display first month, then day, then year, but you can change this for a more European day, month, year, or uh, a more uh, programmer way that is year, month, day. Whatever you do, you can change. Uh, display a 12 hour clock time. Uh, what will be the start year when you open uh, uh, a selector, what will be the end year, etc. Again, I apply my change. So again, I got my green box, everything is good. Now, uh, another thing that we will set 
is the way your tiki will look, uh, uh, the theme that, we, that will be used, the layout. For this, you go to the look and feel control panel. And uh, the first tab is the theme where you can select uh, the theme. By default, Tiki is installed with an adaptation of the, the default bootstrap, but Tiki comes with several themes that you can select and use. And you have a small window on the right side of the screen where you can see a preview of the website uh, or uh, how it will look. Uh, of course, this is just a preview. This is not all the page that you can see, but that gives you an idea. Uh, other thing that you can change is the navbar color background, is the fact that the admin will have uh, a team when your user will have a different team. A lot of things that can help you. Again, you got tooltip, you got help, and you can revert your change. Another important thing is the seat layout. You can select the single container, uh, the, the classic Tiki, three container, header, middle, footer, uh, or the classic bootstrap with the fixed top nav bar. This is usually the one that I use, but uh, you are free to use any one of them. You can choose to have a fixed wise, so your website is centered in the middle and you can uh, change the side of this Y. Um, about the logo and the title, we will change it from the modules that, uh, and I will show you that in a few minutes. Um, other important things in the look and feel is the customization. You got here a lot of field that you can use to insert your own custom JavaScript or some custom code from third party company like Google, like Fitbits, like add this, etc. You can customize this. Of course, you have to be careful because if you enter uh, wrong data here and uh, you crash your Tiki, you will have to go back to the database or to reinstall it. So it's a good thing to do it at the start of your Tiki. So if there is really an issue, you can put back a backup or reset your default database. Now that this is done, uh, we're going to go to the logging uh, control panel. Another important thing that you set when you start your Tiki there are, uh, or your website, there are different ways to use a website. You can use a website only to display things, but you can also use a, a website uh, with users that are known, that are registered, and you have to decide the way they will register. So. Um, on the registration and logging uh, section, as you can see, uh, you can set that user can register. And when I do this, bling, you got a lot, a lot of uh, uh, setting parameters and option to help you to set exactly what you want there. You can have a passcode to register. You can, uh, you have by default a captcha to avoid uh, your ticket being submerged by. Uh, boot from all over the world and you can use it. You can also use the Google reCAPTCHA uh, when you set a new register at Google. Um, you can also set in the registration that not only a user register, but uh, user information, users inform user information are collected to a tracker. Um, you can force revalidation, you can uh, for the for the email, there is really a lot of, lot of setting. Other important setting about HTTPS. As you know now, most of the website work in HTTPS and especially for mobile, it's very important to have a certificate, certificate sorry, and to uh, uh, use HTTPS. You can also force things like the logging to be done using HTTPS to avoid anyone getting uh, between you and your server. Um, what else here? Yeah, username, very important. You can force your user to use their email as username uh, and many other settings. You got username pattern. With this pattern, your user can use uh, A to Z uh, uh, 
uh, uppercase, lowercase, number, and some uh, symbol. But if you want to use exotic language like uh, Cyrillic or Hebrew, you have to add them there if you want your user to be able to write in their own language. Um, some stuff about password to prevent common password, uh, to, to force the minimum, uh, the length of the password, the minimum characters, uh, the duration or the, the, the life of a password. That's complete, I think, the first setting uh, that you have to set on your Tiki. Oh yeah, modules. I, I, told, I said previously that I will show how to set uh, uh, your website title or subtitle and logo. Uh, you go to the module control panel and here you got uh, by default a module that is logo. The, the parameters are all blank so it used in fact the logo and the, the title that we saw in the previous look and feel control panel but from here we can change that. Uh, um, my pinball website. Uh, this is a tiki website. Um, can add link. Alt title. Those things are important. Uh, if you want uh, your website to be accessible to anyone, and image URL. For this, we need an image. So um, you can set a path to your Tiki, like image, etc. But you can also uh, download an image into your gallery and use it. So here we, we got our title, we need to change the logo. So I'm exiting the modules, I go to the file gallery, uh, I upload a picture, uh, maybe on the desktop, yeah, why not? Okay, great, I got a pinball picture. Uh, it's file ID1. Great. Now I go to setting modules. I edit my logo module. And as image, I put simply display one. See the picture. It is saved. I exit the module. And I have my first website with title, subtitle, logo, etc. And of course, the default install feature that we discussed in a different tutorial. That's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this Express Tiki tutorial. And if you have questions, you can always contact me and I'll be happy to help. The best option is to send me an email at me at bisfest.com. You can also post in the comment uh, of YouTube or use my Facebook page. Uh, and visit my website. If you like that video, don't be shy and click on the like icon, icon and share everywhere you think it should be. If you don't want to miss my next tutorial and want to be notified when I publish a new video, just click on the bell, the subscribe button of my YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching and may the power of Tiki be with you.